What up? This is Tim Dodd, and uh, this is my second video lesson. And basically, all we're going to do is we're going to make a sprite draw in um, XNA. Exciting, huh? Um, basically, I'll show you some basics of the uh, of the XNA uh, framework. All right, let's open up C Sharp here. Uh, I started a lesson, but let's go in here. Go file new. Uh, Windows game. Make sure you're selected over here. Okay. First thing you'll notice over here, if if you've used C Sharp before, which I hope you have, is that you'll notice a content icon. It's expandable, and this is actually a folder and a game1.cs and this is the main class for the XNA framework that basically makes the magic happen. You have three different methods inside uh, update, draw, and then initialize and uh, those are the key elements for your game. So uh, basically there's a lot to it. There's tons of information, and we're just going to go over it slowly. I'm not going to explain every little detail right now, but uh, let's just make a sprite draw, and, uh, you know, the farther that we get into it in the other lessons, you'll learn more. So basically what we're going to do is all this is going to be in here when you double-click on the uh, – oops, I double-clicked on the wrong thing. Doing the game one – CS. So we have the draw, the update, and uh, the initialize. Okay, let's 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 make a little drawing here. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make an image for our. Uh, for our uh, project real quick. Let me see here. I'm going to try to go real quick so it's not boring. Yeah. Yeah. Little cloud here. Oh, this guy's mad. Okay. Well, anyway, let's uh, see here. Okay, here's our sprite. I'm sure you can make something better, but I'm going to go to file, and I hope you can use paint. If you can't, just give up. All right, here we go. My documents, uh, Visual Studio 2008 project. Um, this is Windows Game 2. And then the content folder right here, we're going to save this bad boy. Let's see here. We'll call this Smiley Guy. Or just Smiley. It's easier. I'm going to copy it. Okay. So let's add that to our uh, content. Now you can either go this way, which I just did right there. Okay, see now it's in the content folder. Well, I'm going to exclude this to show you the other way. You can click this little show all files, and it'll show everything, and you want to just include it. There we go, bam. How do you like that? Okay. Let's see here. We're going to make a texture. Texture 2D, now that's a special class that stores the uh, texture information. We'll call it Smiley. Okay. And then in our load content, we're going to go Smiley Guy, or Smiley, why do I keep saying Smiley? Content.load, Texture2D, and then we're going to simply uh, grab the, uh, the smiley. We can call it whatever we want. If we go in here and go to the Properties menu, 
which I have hidden right now. Let me open it. Okay, I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's called Smiley. So, we're going to put Smiley. And there we go. It's that easy. XNA has a dictionary. You don't have to do any of the management. Um, you don't have to worry about loading 50 Smiley's because it's nice when the content pipeline automatically has a dictionary that stores it. So if you if you load it and it's not there, it grabs it. But if it already is, it uses the existing one. So, so we have our smiley. Okay. Now we're going to go down to a draw. Now, if you noticed up here, we have a sprite batch. This is the key for 2D texture drawing. So we're going to use that. We're going to go sprite batch dot draw smiley uh, destination rectangle basically the destination rectangle is if you want to transform the shape of the smiley so say it's 32 by 32 pixels and we want it 32 by 64 well you can use a rectangle but this has got an overload and we're not going to use the rectangle we're going to just use a vector so we're going to go new vector and we'll just pick a spot we'll put 100 by 100 that should work and the color we'll put white white we'll just use its normal color if you use anything else that will make it darker or something of that nature okay before the draw we're going to do sprite batch dot begin and there's a lot of features you can do to this but I'll show you that later so sprite batch dot end there we go we have all my screen got messed up but see we got it look we've got the little uh, smiley face pretty nice huh so we're gonna go ahead and exit that out um, Basically, that's the intro to the content and the game.cs. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, next video, we'll learn how to manipulate that uh, smiley and do some stuff with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.